Hey folks, I wanted to show you uh, how to get some new gear that I got working with ScreenFlow. So I got the Ultra Studio, Studio Mini Recorder, um, which is awesome, and I'm trying to get my Zoom to talk to the computer. So first thing you got to do is open this, and you access it via uh, System Preferences right there. Okay, it's going to open that up. And by normally by default, it's set to SDI, um, but we want... HDMI because that's what my camera is connected to. Now you're not going to show any connection until you open something that's going to actually talk to the hardware. In our case that's going to be black siphon. Okay, This is going to take black magic hardware and it's going to turn it into a, a siphon stream for use with uh, other software that supports siphon streaming. So um, once we pick something here it's going to tell us what frame rate is coming in. Um, and so then we'll know what we need to set our other software to. Okay, so if I just set it, let's assume it's 25 frames per second. 25 frames per second. I can see here that it's actually 29.97. That's what the camera is spitting out. Okay, so I need to set this to match that. All right. Once I do that, then I get my preview. As you can see right here, I can go like that. You can see there's like some weird tearing going on. So let me quit this and reopen it. Let's see if that tearing goes away. All right. Might still be having a weird problem. Let me unplug the camera and plug it back in. I need to change some of these settings. Um, all right. Okay. That seems to be okay. All right, so the next thing to do is to open Cam Twist. Um, now, Cam Twist by default uh, opens up at the wrong resolution. Um, it's set to 320 by 240, and normally this is set to 15. Um, this needs to be set to 30, and then this needs to be set to the same size as this. Uh, 1080, or er, I'm sorry, 1920 by 1080. All right, now it says we got to restart Cam Twist and the video stream for it to take effect. All right. Okay, that's turned off. So now we reopen Cam Twist. And you notice here I still don't have a feed. Okay, so we reopen Cam Twist. All right, oh, Cam Twist is, uh, is, is available as a source here. So now we need to add our siphon source. And there we are in ScreenFlow. We have shown up as a source. So that's awesome. Okay. Let's see how that stream looks. All right, cool. So as you can see, here is, uh, here's the Cam Twist feed. And you can see that it's really small, even though my video scale size is set to this. And that's because when we first opened Cam Twist, the size was set to... Uh, under those preferences, this was set to 320 by 240. And then later we changed it to 1920 by 1080. Um, so, and as you can see, like, this is, you know, this stuff got turned off and whatnot. We still don't have a Cam Twist feed until we actually open Cam Twist, and then this came in here. And we end up getting video feed. We got video feed here, but we didn't get it here. So let's see, now that I'm at, you can actually see the monitoring happening here. Let's see what happens uh, if I drag those regions into the project. All right, and as you can see, we've got actual video, and it's, like, pretty large. It's 1920 by 1080. Um, and if I press play, um, we'll see if there's any tearing happening. All right, cool. So as you can see here is... I don't know if uh, I moved my hands or not. Here's the cam twist feed, and you can see, see the monitor. Okay, so something you may notice is that um, what I'm saying is not synced up with what's happening on the video. So... Uh, on my system, what I have to do is shift this seven frames. So if we zoom in here, uh, zoom in here a little more, and use our hotkeys to shift our seven frames. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, uh, what do we get? All right, cool. So as you can see here, ooh, that's still not lined up. Oh, I shifted the wrong thing. Actually, what you have to do is detach audio first. Okay, and now... The audio and your screen recording need to be shifted seven frames, not the video footage. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. All right, cool. So as you can see, here is uh, 
here's the cam twist feed and you can see that it's really small even though my video scale size is set to this and that's because when we first open all right much better i mean it could still be nudged a little bit in um logic or in pro tools or whatever uh but this is cool so now we need to check if there's tearing happening all right let's take a look for that tearing is going to be if i move my arm real quick and we see like interlacing happening or whatnot All right, so uh, as you can see, um, I already have this shifted over a little bit. Um, let's see if there's you know tearing going on. Right. Where tearing let's is happening right here. Tearing is going to be if I move my arm real quick and we see like interlacing happen. All right, so we can just uh, kind of you know arrow through the frames and we see some blurriness, but that's fine. But we don't see the uh, interlacing that happens um, uh, where like each you can like see the separate lines of each scan. Um, I was getting that earlier when, um, for whatever reason, I ended up, I just disconnected the zoom camera. I just disconnected the camera from the converter box and then reconnected it. And that's, that's all I had to do to get it to work properly. And it was awesome. You may have to experiment a little bit with what value you see here versus what value you see here. Um, I believe, I don't know if this takes decimals or not, whatnot. This may just be the frame rate that gets spit out. I'm not sure. Um, but I know that when I had used my wife's camera, that it spits out pure 30 frames per second, and the zoom spits out 29.97. So when I was using her camera, I was getting tearing, um, that interlacing thing I was talking about uh, on my shirt and whatnot, whenever, every time I moved around. So as soon as I set this to um, a different frame rate, like 29.97 versus 30, and then reopened everything and set it all up in uh, uh, in ScreenFlow. Uh, the tearing stopped. So you may have to experiment with this frame rate value to make sure it matches the frame rate that's listed right here. Um, but that's it. That's how you can use this Ultra Studio uh, Ultra Studio Mini Recorder with ScreenFlow. All right, awesome.